Hi everyone. Today we are going to continue in chapter 2, but we're going to skip section 2.3 and move straight to 2.4, which is titled Solving More Equations. Let's get started. <clears throat> Go ahead and title your notes section 2.4, Solving More Equations. The date today is April 23rd. Last time we looked at equations that could be solved in one step, kind of like this. If we had an equation like x plus 2 equals 6, all we had to do was subtract 2 from both sides and get our answer. But today we're going to look at equations where we might have to take a few more steps. So let's take a look at what one of these might look like. Maybe something like 2x plus 4 equals 14. Now, before we go into solving this, I want to remind you of PEMDAS, our trusty friend when we're simplifying expressions that we always have to follow, order of operations. So I want us to make a flowchart, and I want a flowchart to start with x, and I want us to think about what we are doing to x as we move through this equation. So following PEMDAS, what happens to x? Well, it's multiplied by 2 first. So times 2, that brings us to whatever 2x is. I don't know, I'm going to leave it blank. Then what do we do once we multiply? Well, we have to add 4. So I'm going to write another arrow and write plus 4 above it. And finally, in the last node here, we know that the whole thing, 2x plus 4, equals 14. So to solve this equation, I'm going to have to use reverse PEMDAS, or as I like to call it, SADMEP. So SADMEP is going to help us solve our equation. So we're going to take each step backwards. Instead of multiplying first, we're going to undo the addition first. So I'm going to subtract 4. That's going to give me 10. And then I'm going to do the inverse of multiplying. So I'm going to divide by 2 to get x, which equals 5, because 10 divided by 2 equals 5. So when I'm writing my equation, I have to use PEMDAS. So to write equations, PEMDAS. Use PEMDAS. Oops, PEMDAS. And that helps us go forwards. But to solve the equation, to solve equation, we're going to use SADMEP. So SADMEP is going to go and help us solve these backwards. Let's do a few examples. So here's another one where I'm going to make a flowchart to help me solve. So I'm trying to solve for m. So I'm going to put m in the first node here, and I'm going to do what with it? Well, following PEMDAS, I'm going to multiply by 5, and that's going to give me whatever 5m is. I don't know. Then I'm going to subtract 3, and that's going to give me my answer, which is 27. To solve, I'm going to use SADMEP. So I'm not going to undo the multiplication first. I'm going to undo the subtraction first. So I'm going to add to undo the subtraction, add 3. 27 plus 3 is 30. And I'm going to undo the multiplication by dividing by 5. 30 divided by 5 is 6. And we should always take a moment to plug this answer back in and make sure that it actually works. So 5 times 6 that's m, minus 3 should equal 27. Put a question mark there. 5 times 6 is 30, minus 3 does in fact equal 27, so our answer is correct. But let's say that I didn't have time to make a flowchart. I can't always ma be making flowcharts to solve every problem. Well, let's start from the beginning again. 5m minus 3 equals 27. And let's use SADMEP to help us. Well, we're going to have to undo some multiplication and some subtraction here. And because we're going in reverse PEMDAS order, I'm going to undo the subtraction first. So I'm going to add 3 to both sides, and that's going to get rid of this minus 3 plus 3, and I'm going to be left with 5m equals 30. 
Then it's a one-step equation. I'm just going to divide by 5, and I get m equals 6. Let's do another one where we practice both ways. All right, so for this one, let's make a flowchart first. It says n over 10 plus 20 equals 35. And remember, a fraction is really just a division problem. So if we make a flowchart, it's going to start with n. And I'm going to divide by 10 first, because we're going in PEMDAS order. I don't know what that is, but I know that when I add 20, I'm going to get 35. Now, going in reverse order, I'm going to subtract 20. That'll get me to 15 times 10 is going to give me n equals 150. OK, so now time saver way. I don't have time to make a flow chart. I'm just going to rewrite the equation over here. And I hope you are following along and writing as well. I'm going to use SADMAP. So I'm going to try to do subtraction or addition first. I'm going to undo this addition here by subtracting 20, both sides. And I'm left with n over 10 equals 15. Then this is just division over here, and I'm going to multiply to undo it. So n equals 150. When in doubt, use whatever method you like, but I want you to get comfortable with using both. Go ahead and try this one on your own. And remember that PEMDAS starts with a P for parentheses. So I want you to make a flowchart, and I want you to solve it the quicker way. So go ahead and take a look at my flowchart and my solving with the quicker method. Both ways, I get C equals negative 5. I just want to point out a couple of things. Remember that division comes last in PEMDAS, but it comes first in SADMEP before parentheses. And after you divide, you can take those parentheses away. When we have an expression where the whole thing is in parentheses, we don't actually need any parentheses at all. Go ahead and try this one on your own too. And I want to point out one thing. Imagine that the top of, the, of this problem on the left side is in parentheses. Go ahead and pause the video and try it out. Okay, does your flowchart look like mine and does the solving of the equation on the right side look like mine? The one thing I want to point out here is it looks like we are not doing this writing of the equation in PEMDAS order, but that's only because the subtraction happens in parentheses. So the parentheses kind of overrules the division here in coming first. So that's why we multiply by 5 first to undo this and then add 9 later. All right, that brings us to the end of our lesson for today. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to go back to the Google Doc to make sure you know what your assignment is for today.